Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone here in Spiritual Biz Success. Kimberly Maska here, founder and fearless leader in this group and founder of Spiritual Biz Bootcamp. So how are you guys today? So let's talk about spirituality and money. Such an interesting combination of words, isn't it? There usually seems to be a bit of a disconnect that I see amongst people, not only spiritual entrepreneurs, but I see a bit of a disconnect with people all over the world when it comes to talking about spirituality and money. And here's the interesting thing. When we're talking about money, most people seem to think of and view money as something outside of themselves. It's this thing out there that we're trying to get at and manifest and create and we're working really hard to get money. And it doesn't actually have to be that way. When we look at spirituality and money, we have to realize that money is not outside of us at all. That spirituality and money actually go together. And go together so much that it's, it's kind of almost one and the same. In fact, it is one and the same. Because when we're looking at money and we're looking at spirituality, it's all energy, right? There's energy inside money. And so since everything comes from the one thought, the one thought of the one source, the one creator, whether you call that God or source or universe or whatever term you want to use, since money is a thought from God, because everything comes from the imagination of God, of source, then money is spiritual. It's filled with energy. It's imbued with your energy, whatever the energy is that you want to put into it. So when people are talking about spirituality and money, for some reason, they create a disconnect. They say, well, that's, they're not connected. If you're spiritual, then you shouldn't have any money. Or if you're spiritual, you don't need any money. And I want to say that that's totally wrong, that if you're spiritual, you should be more abundant than anyone else around you. Because if you're truly spiritual and in alignment with source, then the money just shows up because you're in alignment. It's because you're in alignment and you don't have any resistance. Because you're in alignment and you're doing what you love. Because when you do what you love, the money just appears. It truly does. There's no worry, there's no stress, there's no working hard, there's no working a job you can't stand. None of that happens because you are in flow. So if you're having money issues, if money isn't showing up, then something is blocking your flow. Is it the job you're in? Is it the relationship you're in? Is it like, what is it? Or is it just you? Have you have so many limiting beliefs from your family that they've handed down to you that you know they thought they were trying to help about money? Like where's the block in the flow? Because spirituality and money are the same thing. They're connected. It's energy. Money is spiritual. Money is energy. We are energy. We are spiritual. It all is connected. Money comes from the thought, yes, yeah, someone says, oh, well, you know, man created money. Well, but how did man get the idea? The idea came from the one thought, the one imagination of source of the creator. That's where it comes from. It is spiritual. So what's happening with most people and a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs is that they disconnect themselves from money and they think it's outside of themselves, which is why they can't create it. They push it away. I don't need it. I don't need that much. It's like somehow they think it's, it's good to live in poverty, which is nonsense. Poverty is a mental disease. Absolutely a mental disease. If you are struggling with money, there, you have a mental disease. There's something wrong with how you're thinking, because your thoughts create your reality. So if your thoughts create your reality, along with your vibration, which you think and what you feel is the creation of your reality, then what are you thinking or feeling that's creating the situation that you're in? And what does that mean? That means you're disconnected from source. You're, when you're disconnected from source, then you're in scarcity, and you're afraid, and you're worried, and you're concerned about the money. When you're in full connection with source, you're never worried because you know source has got you. You're, you are part of that imagination of God. God imagined you and you get to use your imagination to create your reality, to create what you want. So when someone looks at spirituality and money and they say there's a disconnection, I say the only disconnection is that they are disconnected from who they really are at their core and that they are disconnected from source. Because when you are in full alignment, it all flows easily. So if you're looking at a spiritual person and they talk about how spiritual they are, but they're living in poverty or they're always in scarcity, something's not right. 
because you've shut off something. You've shut off a, a, a connection with source. You've shut off the flow. Something is blocking the flow of the energy of money. So you have to discover what is that. So if you are trying to be a spiritual entrepreneur and you're in a constant state of struggle, you're struggling because of your thoughts and your feelings about money. So you need to shift it because you create the reality that you're in. I know it sucks to think that, but it's also awesome because not only did you create it and where it is, that means you can fix it. No one else is in control but you. Everything you see and everything you touch and everything you do, you've created and brought into your reality by manifesting it, whether you consciously manifested it or not. So the same goes true with your finances. If your finances are doing amazing, think about it. What are you thinking about? What were you feeling? What are your beliefs around money? If you're living paycheck to paycheck and you're like freaked out is the first and the 15th or rolling around, but they're still like four days away and you have no money in your bank account. If you're living like that, you're living in scarcity. You have a disconnection from source. So you have to find that disconnection. Where is it? Is it a limiting belief? Is it because you're working a job you can't stand? Where is it coming from? And only when you uncover that and transmute it, will you be able to release the block and be able to allow the flow of money to come back in. So money is energy. Money is spiritual. You are energy. You are spiritual, which actually means you are money. So at the end of the day, the money that you're creating around you is coming from you and because of you, because that's what you're attracting because you're creating your reality. So when you start to own the fact that money is energy, that you imbue within it whatever you want, and that it's a beautiful thing and you can change the world with it, you literally, you can, you can help children in third world countries, you can send water to places where they don't have clean water, you can do amazing things with it. And when you start to see that and you start to give the money away, when you start to tithe consistently, when you are taking that energy of money and passing it back out into the world, then it just flows right back to you. And there's never a worry. There's never a worry because energy is part of being spiritual. It's part of being in alignment and it's a part of source. And when you're fully connected to source, it just shows up for you. It just shows up because you're attracting it. You're manifesting it. You're using the law of attraction to pull it in with your thoughts and your feelings. So next time you see spirituality and money and you get a wobble, in fact, if you have a wobble and you want to wobble and you want to post something in the comments, I'd be happy to comment on it because being able to clear up your, your vibration around money is the only way you're going to succeed. Otherwise, you, you just have this disconnect again. And if you're disconnected from source, that means you're sitting in scarcity because when you're connect, fully connected with source, you know the abundance is there. You know it in every cell of your being. So, hey, Carolyn, I don't know if you're still there. I haven't seen you in forever. And Emily, Emily is on my mastery program. Elon, hello, are you? Our, Elon just got out of our boot camp call with us. Kim Relief Davis, also a mastery client. How are you guys? All right, guys. Uh, let's see. And Erica, I'll talk to you guys in here. All right, Zane. Hey, Zane, how's it going? Zane's a boot camp graduate. Currently working through a judgment of money, seeing it now as a reflection of the divine current flowing between us all. Cool. That's excellent. Because when you look at money, money is like divine substance. Guys, it's divine substance. It's amazing. When, you know, when I, whenever I do an energy exchange with my team or whoever it is, I like bless the money because it's divine substance that I'm able to do an energy exchange with them. I mean, it's amazing. So it is, again, it's energy, guys. That's all it is. Hello, Myra and Oren. Thank you. Beverly, how's it going? Yep, money is just energy. And you believe, yep, Oren, what you believe creates your life. That is so true. All right, guys. And then Kimberly, so Kimberly, I taught her how to see money as currency and energy in boot camp. Yes, we did. We cover a lot of that. My abundance is my business and my life has changed completely. You're welcome, Kimberly. It's so exciting. Kimberly's in mastery now. Hello, Judith. I see, totally agree. Uh, but only today I got at least 10 people on my page throwing an incredible amount of hatred because of my prices. Ah, so this is, I'll just, I'll give you a little something here, Judith. This would be something I would teach in boot camp, but don't put your prices up. Guys, don't put your prices up. Don't, they don't need to know how much you pay. They're, they're investing until they talk to you because if you put your pricing up, that just means you're going to take them as a client and you don't know that you're going to take them as a client. You need to make a judgment call on who do you actually want to work with because you can have it however you want it. So um, Judith, I would actually just take those prices down. So, um, cause those aren't your clients anyways. And then, um, hello, everybody else. We got 
All right, guys, I think that's it. All right, guys. So yes, don't forget money is energy. If you say you are spiritual, then you should be abundant. Because if you are spiritual and sitting in scarcity, then that just means you're disconnected from source. And there's got there's some work that needs to happen there. This is a ton of what we cover in boot camp, not a ton, but it's a good part of what we cover in boot camp. Because be able to build your spiritual business, you need to be in alignment with money. I can teach someone all the steps to create a business because I got plenty of people that come through boot camp. They get to all learn the exact same thing. And the people who sit in scarcity struggle to create the business and the people who believe in the flow of abundance and the connection with source succeed and create hundreds of thousands of dollars with their program and their, and their, and their business. So guys, you've got to get over this, this hump of any kind of scarcity that's popping up for you. So again, boot camp is the way to go. If you need to, figure out how to create your spiritual business, how to get it out there, how you're serving. Cause if you're not serving with what you're doing, I don't know what you're doing. I'll post a link up above for the uh, webinar. So you guys can take a look at that free training. And again, remember you are the connection with source. You are source. It's flowing through you. Money is energy, your energy, which means that you are it. So your, your bank account is a direct reflection of the energy that you've put in putting out and the feelings that you have around money. And if you want to conquer all of that, we're also about to launch Spiritual Biz Leadership, which will be a monthly uh, program, which I will, a monthly membership program, and I'll be talking more about it in here. And Spiritual Biz Leadership is going to be specifically geared to getting you over your humps about being a spiritual leader and get you over this, this mindset issue around spirituality and money. Because only once you have that solved can you be successful in Spiritual Biz, biz Bootcamp and be able to change the world. So keep an eye out for that. Look for the free training above here for Spiritual Biz Bootcamp, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.